I was listening to a fella talk yesterday on a podcast, and I realized that a lot of people are very new to homesteading and growing their own food and permaculture and all these things. And sometimes I just take for granted that people know how to do a lot of these things, but I could tell from the questioning <clears throat> that some of this stuff's real, still real new to people. So I'll do a real quick video on microgreens. I did. I used to do microgreens at my house in Atlanta, and I was pretty big into it then. But I hadn't done it since I moved out. So right here, I've just got a flat with some. Just this was just some potting soil. I just I took it out of an old pot that I don't even know what was in there. So I got some radishes, daikon radish. These are just seeds I found. I didn't order these special. These are things we would put in the garden. So I got these daikons, and what you want to do, just sprinkle them over the top like that. See that one's empty, but I've got another pack. These are just assorted uh, radishes really, so just sprinkle them over the top. You want them to be pretty dense. Uh, here's another pack, daikon. All these are just partial seed packets, but you want them to be—you want them to be dense. I used to have it figured out exactly how much went into a a a, a flat. I had a little cup, and if I filled up that cup, I could—I knew that would be the perfect amount. But you don't need that. Just. Just spread them on there. You wouldn't do, you wouldn't plant seeds like this out in your raised bed, but you want these greens to be really, you want this thing to kind of look like a mat of uh, green. It's going to take about 10 days, probably. And it's just one more kind of radish. Doesn't matter. They'll all pretty much taste the same while they're in the microgreen stage. And I'm going to let this be my last seed packet because now I've got a pretty good amount up, up here. And uh, let's see if I can get a little closer. That's actually a pretty good shot. So I'll leave that the way it is. I even had a couple, you know what? I've got a couple more packets that are just partially full. I'll go ahead and add them. Cause well, these seeds are, these, these seeds, we found them, they've been around. I think these are like 2018, they are. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kinda, if I see any bare spots, I don't mean it in there. So there you go. I had, I don't know, seven different kinds of radishes. Now I've got one little thing I'll show you here in a second. I'm going to water these in. So I have these watered in really good. And I made this years ago and it fits right on a tray. You can make one of these. I just put a hole off of a cabinet or something. And, uh, what I do is I just I just push these down like that. Push those down into the soil. This could have done better. I, this thing is sagging. I need to get it on something flat. Put on something flat and uh, just press the seeds. You don't have to have a board like this, but if you do, it makes it easy, especially especially if you got like you know, a dozen trays. It just, if you need to, just use your hand. Just push them in like that. They'll sprout. They'll sprout. You don't have to put anything on top of them. Just need a little bit more water down here. Now you wanna have these inside. 
you want to have these warm and uh, you know indoor temperatures so 70 degrees or whatever and uh, they'll sprout put these inside and if you can put a light over the top of these you can hang a uh, fluorescent light over them grow light whatever you got you can even put them in a window but it will work better with a light over the top and uh, in inside somewhere somewhere where it, where it stays at a pretty consistent temperature and that's really all you have to do and then after they after they sprout we'll cover that after they sprout